So I am going to attempt and do a. Not is it voiceover? Talk through a talk through video. I have my headphones on because I usually like to have music while I'm doing my makeup. Um. I don't know how it's going to, uh, to be honest, if this doesn't work out, then it doesn't work out. But, at least I already warned you guys. Alright, so. And then, so if you guys follow me on Snapchat, you guys knew that, um, I posted a picture. Not a picture, but it was a look that I did on sa a Saturday that I went out with my friends. Um, it was a purple lid with, like, brownish, orangey-ish, um, crease-ish look. So I decided to go ahead and work some glitter with it yesterday. But anyways, first what I'm going to do is prime my eyelid. And what I've been doing lately to prime my eyelids, I use like a, a concealer or my foundation. And I just set it with some powder. Translucent powder. So I'm just going to go ahead and set and I really don't have any particular way of doing my makeup I don't know if there's a right or wrong way but I usually just tend to um go with the flow to be honest I just go with the flow don't really worry about it so I'm going to be using Anastasia Beverly Hills I'm using the Holy Girl of, eye, of Eyebrows and Color Chalk. What's wrong with me? Why? Why am I dropping everything? One second. Try not to use too much. Because I do have these and eyebrows, but they're like so stubborn. Where are you, Mr. Spoolie? I was like, if I'm going to be doing this talk through video... I'm going to be prepared. By the looks of it, it looks like it's going to take a while. And I don't got a while. I got a few, I, To be excited, I got like an hour and 30 minutes. Because I got to go pick up my brother at the schoolhouse. And I can't find that damn fucking spoolie. It's in here because I just saw it and I put it in there. Told y'all. The way I do my brows, I just line them in the bottom and then line the top and fill in between. And I'm using this angled brushy brush to clean up the edges. But let me go ahead and just... It's a little too lighter, like... It's a little lighter than my skin color, but it will work as a highlight. I don't always do this. I do this when I want like a real sharp, like, in your face eyebrows. Like, I have thick hair on my eyebrows, so I just pretty much go by the shape of them. I really don't try to ref diff like reshape them or anything. using the Gwen Stefani palette with a fluffy brush which is a 217 by MAC and I'm gonna be using Sewn and Anaheim you guys if y'all watch my previous videos y'all know I had issues trying to pronounce this name Call them back. it's gonna mix both both colors this is gonna be it's gonna help with my translucent color translucent my transition color The next color that I'm going to be using is like an orangey color, similar like this one right here. And I'm just going to apply it the same way, like just along here. And the next one that I'm going to grab is a little more um, deep orange. I'm going to be focusing more along this area.
So the next color that I'm going to be using is from Urban Decay's Electric Palette. And I'm going to be using the color Urban. I'm going to be applying it with a flat brush. Use one application. A little bit of this goes a long way. And you're pretty much just using this as your base so you don't have to intensify it too much. Much the second time, but just do panning motions just all over your eyelid. Just to pack the color in there. And when you do that, it will also help um, prevent like, any fallout. And then I'm going to grab a fluffy brush. This one is from Wet n Wild. And I'm just slightly, no product, just a clean brush. Going to kind of help blend the edges. The next color I'm going to grab is going to be Jilted from the same palette. And I'm just going to dip this brush, just one, two, tap the excess, and just go along this right here. With the clean 217 brush, I'm just going to go ahead and blend both of the colors. I'm going to be using some eyelash adhesive on my eyelid because I don't know, I misplaced my, um, my glitter glow. Put some of it on my pinky. I'll be looking downwards like so and just apply it like this. Then I'm going to grab a brush, dip it in the glitter. And just pack it on. Expect some fallout for sure. Well, at least with me, of course. This is why I really don't like working with loose glitter. And to be honest, I really don't work with glitter, loose glitter in particular, because I feel I'm like so messy. And I, as you guys saw, I will get it all over the place. So what I'm going to use next again is Jilted, use Jilted and I'm going to use this very small um, like fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend the edges along here. And I'm using a blue eyeliner, I got, I got this little guy. And Hot Topic is from the Love Love thing, Love collection they have as, as Hot Topic. I really don't know the name. And it's in like a really nice blue. And I'm going to put that on my waterline. You can pick up this blue right here. And just kind of use it to set the color. Grab Jilted and just kind of blend a little bit down here. So what I'm going to be doing is just applying a little bit of Jilted. Make it, make the color a little bit more intense right above the glitter. So you can see the transition of the colors. I'm going to use the color Blonde from the Gwen Stefani palette. And I'm just going to blend right here, right underneath my arch. And you're feeling yourself. Okay, so I feel like the eyes are pretty much done. I'm just going to go ahead and start working on my face. I've been using um, the Nivea Men. The one that Nikki Tutorials was talking about. It does help with the oiliness. It doesn't help... Like a lot, but it helps for a few hours. Like, the way that I do my makeup, usually if I have breakouts, I'm not going to completely cover them up. So what I'm doing is using um, a green concealer. 
just to conceal any redness. And this is like my holy grail, like it's a must. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation and I am in natural beige 220. And this is the bomb like, foundation brush. And I just apply it all over my face. And then I go in and I blend it out. I try to avoid putting so many like around my eye. Ooh, what the fuck is so I don't like it to get all cakey underneath there. Because I have really fine lines and I don't like to make them stand out. And once it starts like caking, it looks really bad. I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in shade Porcelain. And then I go back, I'm going to grab my my foundation brush that I use. And I'm going to blend these lines right over here. I'm going to be using the Benai Translucent Powder in Fair. And just going to be using that to set it underneath my eyes. I'm going to use a powder today. And this one's by Lorac and it's the shade, it's an oil free wet to dry powder. And it's in shade WD5. Like a small little um blush brush. I'm using this little one so it can give me a little bit of control and I can define my contour a little bit more. Go ahead and bronze a little bit more and I'm using Rimmel London Natural Bronzer in 021 Sunlight. And the lashes that I'm going to be using today are going to be Vegas Nate Glam Grand or Glam Glamour Lashes. So I'm going to be using this Mexican mascara, it's called Super Lash Apple, yo le digo la manzanita. And I'm going to be applying that on my lower eyelids, on my lower lashes. I kind of feel bad that this video looks a little rushed. Well, it's going to look rushed because... I obviously gotta go pick up my children. Filling them in with NYX coffee liner. It's kind of like a nude color for me. I really hope that you guys enjoy this talk through ish video. Because I really don't do them because I'm really awkward as you can see and you will see in the video. And then I'm like using, I'm going to use the color Just Peachy by Wet n Wild. Come on. You can never have enough. And then I'm going to use London by NYX again. And is the Soft Matte Lip Cream. And I'm pretty much done with the look. All I'm going to do is apply a little bit of highlight. And we should call it a day. And that's it, pretty much. Okay. Well, you guys, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry if the video looks rushed. It is actually 2.30 and I need to go pick up my brother because he's coming from school and um, I just kind of felt awkward doing the talk through, doing my makeup. I kind of just like to be in my zone, listen to music and then do my talk throughs. But if you guys like this video and would like to see more like this, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time.